One of the interesting uh, evolutions in the United States government was Truman was clearly <laughs> concerned about what he's going to do since the Roswell Daily Record said flying saucer lands on ranch and people are talking and what, how are they going to control this? And that's how MJ-12 came about. Truman wanted a, we'll call a supercharged, powerful group that would talk only to him and he to them and he would trust. And on September 18th, 1947, he created the Central Intelligence Agency and was, I think, one week later, MJ-12. And that was his effort to try to get control on what was happening. And none of these people could talk. By 1952, only five years later, came the National Security Agency. CIA and NSA have worked like this together ever since. Well, as more and more crashes which a lot of military people have said, Linda, a lot of this is Trojan horse. We're convinced. The non-humans want to put certain, we'll call it technologies, metals, into the hands of our government, China. It's going on all over the planet. We know we're not the favored nation by ETs. And as they would develop and isolate and control, NSA and CIA, they didn't want to go out and get their hands dirty. So it's my understanding the Defense Intelligence Agency gets created to be the body whose exclusive power will be if something crashes, if some being shows up, if something's happening, it'll be the DIA that will be assigned to go out into the world and do the investigations and bring back the material. 